Hi everybody, Jesse here from jessiebanks.com and I got a parcel from Regina. So this is from Frame Master Gallery and Black Dog Art Supply. I placed an order with them, but Russ told me there was a couple nifty gifties in here for me, so I figured I would open it up with you guys before I peeked at those gifties and what I ordered. Don't get too excited when I open this because they repurpose their boxes. So this was a box that they got things from Ranger in. Let's pull this out. Oh my goodness. Come on. So we'll open it up and go through what I bought and everything else. So I live about two hours-ish away from the store in Regina. And this got here in like a day. It was slated to be here Tuesday and it showed up on Friday. So I'm quite excited that I got everything super fast. Um, these guys are great. I've been shopping with them for a long time. So Frame Masters Gallery and Black Dog Art Supply, if you guys have been watching the channel, um, this are the people that make the stone ground paints that I order all the time. So everything's packaged great. This box is stuffed. Nothing's going to shake around, which is good considering I know some of what's in here. So um, I got a nice little letter. Um, ooh. Okay, I'll read that to you guys when we get there. So let's start with what I bought. So the first thing I got here, this is Faber-Castell's Carbon Black Ink. So this is a black ink that you put into a fountain pen or you can use it with a dip pen. I love the bottle. It's super pretty. I have um, a Lamy ink in a turquoise and um, what's the other brand? A Lamy ink in a turquoise and the Jack's, Jack's Herbin? Jack's, Jack's Herbin? Something like that. But this is the Amethyst. It's got pearl in it. I have that one too, but I really like this bottle. Everything's cold. I just grabbed it out of the mail, so it's kind of, it's kind of still um, temperaturizing. So you know how it gets like water, like sweat on it from coming, getting warm. But so carbon black, and to go with that, I bought myself a pen. Oh, these popped open. He sent me um, some Faber Castell ink, but one of them broke, and I do believe it's that one. I will deal with those after. So he sent me some of their little ink tubes, but because they froze, that's okay though, because I'll clean up the other three as they thaw. I'm just going to kind of go like that for now, because these top two are fairly clean. I'll deal with that in a moment. I don't want to deal with that on top of the background here, but I ordered myself a pen. So this is a Faber-Castell, what is it called? A Fuller Ambition pen. And this pen is gorgeous. They're heavy, so it's a fountain pen. Um, I did ask him to swap out the fine tip nib for a medium tip nib, which he did. It'll unscrew, and inside this is what is used to... Um, it'll pop off of here. And this is how I'll refill it with ink. And then it'll pop back in and I can write with it till it's empty. So you can change colors and things, but this is what I bought the black ink for. I do have a Lamy pen here. Just give me one moment. I do have a Lamy pen here that I have a turquoise ink in. And this one has a fine tip nib on it. I really like this pen. It's super light. Like it doesn't have a lot of heft to it. They're plastic. They're kind of an entry level pen. This one cost me about $40 in Canada. Um, this one cost me about $120 in Canada. This pen probably weighs like five of these, but I really love it. It feels very fancy and sleek, so I'm super excited to start playing with that pen. That was exciting. What else do I got? I picked up myself two of the Faber-Castell Polychromos in black just to replenish my stock. I had no black Faber-Castell pencils left. And if you guys follow my Instagram, you saw a picture of a pencil about that big. And that was my last black one from Faber-Castell. And I tend to reach for these blacks over top of my Prismacolor or my Luminance just because they're a harder lead. What else did I add to my collection here? Oh, I grabbed myself a black gouache. I've been playing a lot with gouache lately. Um, I have a nice little collection of Holbein gouaches here, but I didn't have a black. So I ordered myself a black to add in there just so I have that to play with. I found myself wanting it quite often, so it's just nice to have um, it there and I don't have to mix a bunch of things to get as close to black. So black gouache. I also got myself some Dr. P.H. Martin's 
bleed proof white ink people rave about this um I've always considered buying it I've never ordered it before so I'm super pumped to be able to play along with that one and last but not least I have my gifty from Stoneground so um I have I have quite the collection of Stoneground paints uh is this my no this one this is my main stone ground palette. I don't even have all the colors swatched up there. I really need to redo this, but this is my stone ground palette. Um, I use it quite often. I am going to do a video on it here later because that was requested. And then I have, um, I do believe these are out of stock now, but this is their neon line that they had released. It was kind of like limited edition, get it while you can. I was super excited to get that. I really enjoy these people. I really love their paints and it's a fantastic store. Like I, I buy all sorts of things there. So my note says enclosed are six of our new pearlescent watercolors, mountain rose, tiger lily, green apple, willow green, sea green, and midnight blue. It seemed a shame. I'm super pumped. I'm super excited. I haven't, I don't play a lot with pearlized paints and I, I, they're so pretty. Oh, I'm going to be in so much trouble. I'm going to have to buy more of them. More of them. I'm going to grab a piece of paper and clean this up because that's everything I bought. I'm going to clean this up and we're going to swatch these babies out. Okay, so I'm back. This is just my Moleskine sketchbook. Um, you guys have seen this and other things. So I just doodle in it and do all sorts of stuff. But I'm going to swatch out these pearlescent colors because I've never really... I have pearlescent paints, but I've never really played with them, so I'm super excited for this. Thank you so much to everybody at Stoneground for sending these to me. So the first one here is Mountain Rose. Oh, that's pretty. See, adding touches of that into my flowers would be so fun. And I am going to fade them out just to kind of see them in their lighter tones. I will write the names on them after before I photograph it. And then we have Tiger Lily. I love orange. Oh, see? Aww. I'm so excited. These are fun. Okay, I'm so going to have to have a major play. Um, then we have Green Apple, which is a light green. Again, gorgeous and shiny, and oh, who doesn't love shiny things? If you guys can hear knocking around upstairs, it's my son playing with his handboard. We are out of school here, and yeah. I'm just letting him kind of do his thing this weekend. This one is called Willow Green. I like how it's got like a gold shimmery shift to it. I'll hold them up to the camera after and hopefully you guys will be able to see that. Sea Green. Again, has a gold shimmer in it. Oh, see, I'm in trouble. Now I'm going to have to go. Uh, thanks, Russ. <laughs> Next up, and Midnight Blue is the last one, which is stunning, which is stunning. So those are the six new pearlescent colors from um, Stone Ground Paint Company. I'm going to let them dry and show them to you guys, and then, yeah, that'll be it. So I'll be back to give you guys a peek of these dry, and that'll be it for this video. I will see you guys in the next one. Um, have a great day. If you aren't subscribed to the channel, I'd love for you to subscribe. I am going to do a big video on all of their paints that I currently own, which is one or two. I have a problem. Um, and I have some card tutorials coming. I have some regular paintings coming. I have some swatching coming. I have lots of fun things coming on the channel. I've been doing a ton of filming. Okay, so here they are all dried and beautiful. Let's zoom you in a little bit. I well, this one's still kind of wet. That's okay. I really love the gold shift in some of them. All oh, the shimmer is so stinking pretty, you guys. This is fantastic. I cannot wait to have a real big play with these in some florals and some other paintings. Um, I will have a link to Stonegrow Paint Company, uh, Black Dog Art Supply, and Frame Masters Gallery all in the description box below. This is where I ordered all of this stuff from and where the freebie came from. Um, they are currently close to the public as per the whole world going insane. We're just going to touch on that for a moment. I will link though, um, they are shipping everything out to people so you can phone and order or email them and order. Um, they're definitely a great company. So, uh, yeah, all those links will be in the description box below and 
I will see you guys very soon in another video. Have a wonderful day. Bye for now.